Hi and welcome to another video about ice paintings. I decided I wasn't quite done experimenting with acrylics and ice on watercolor paper, so I did three more paintings and documented the process to share with you. I will put a link below this video if you want to see the first painting I did and the beautiful effects that were created in that one. So basically I painted the three paintings on the patio outside during winter. I worked quickly with a limited number of colors and a simple landscape design. The magic starts happening the moment I take the paintings inside and the paint starts to melt, making the color shift and move on the paper. My favorite thing about these are how loose this process is. It's impossible to make any planned details. So if you like a loose and expressive way to create some interesting paintings or initial first layers, this might be a fun thing for you to try. In fact, if you are interested in painting more loosely, don't forget to download my free guide called Five Proven Ways to Loosen Up Your Painting Style. I'll leave a link below this video if that's something you're interested in. The guide includes my top tips to loosen up so you can start painting looser and more freely. Another thing about this process is that you have to be actively making decisions along the way as the paint and water is shifting. There is no time to ponder decisions. You simply have to see what's happening uh, before your eyes and uh, make decisions. Uh, and um, I use paper towels and paint brushes to manipulate and try to make the paint kind of move in the direction I want. So it's a very active way of painting, uh, you could say. I brought the paintings inside one by one uh, to film this because uh, as soon as you take the painting inside it starts melting and uh, in a matter of minutes the whole surface of the painting is just flooded with melted ice and paint. So if you want to try this um, I suggest you use some so sort of um, absorbent um, cover underneath your painting. This is a uh, a mat that's used for uh, when you're painting uh, your walls so it has a plastic backing and kind of an, an uh, absorbent uh, upper surface which is perfect to uh, lay down uh, your wet watercolor paper on. These paintings were made on 140 pound or 300 grams of fine grain watercolor paper so the texture is quite different and uh, less striking um, than uh, what I achieved in the previous uh, video where I used a kind of rough cold press uh, osh uh, thick watercolor paper. But they are still beautiful nonetheless. The colors are much more brilliant and bright when the painting is still wet. So they do dry up and get a bit more dull um, when dry. But still, I thought this was a fun and beautiful experiment. So uh, let me know uh, if you enjoyed uh, this uh, crazy ice painting video. And uh, thank you very much for watching.